spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! If you have not seen the recent season 7 premiere of The Walking Dead, do not watch this video. You will hate me a lot. There are a lot of spoilers. You have been warned. So The Walking Dead is back with season 7. Negan making not so much a good impression. Uh, I'm JTP and I'm joined here today by Ben. Hi Ben. Yo. We both sat in the living room on Monday in terror watching yep. the season 7 premiere and today we feel like The Talking Dead isn't enough. We feel like a couple of days after The Walking Dead when the dust has kind of settled, you're kind of, you're just clearing up the tears from a couple of days before. Now you've got to listen to us two idiots talk about it. So just before we start, I'm going to do a full disclosure now. There are spoilers. Yep. If you haven't watched the premiere yet, you click off the video, don't watch it because there are spoilers beyond no bound. Okay, good. Have we only got the people who have seen it now? Okay, cool. So, ah! First Abraham and then Glenn. Like, I was kind of kind of expecting Glenn to go like seven months ago when we had the big cliffhanger everyone was like who's gonna die I was like well it's gonna be Glenn isn't it because the amount of times we've faked his death throughout the multiple seasons the amount of times I've faked his death I was like well this is the time but they're just gonna be like Haha, he's definitely dead this time psych so I really did think Glenn was going to go but then Abraham went I was like no, not I the biggest badass. Stood up. You you saw me in the room. I literally <laughs> yeah. stood up and went for a walk because like like, like I, I I had foolishly um fell into the trap of spoilers. Um, I mm -hmm. went on Facebook literally hours before I was watching it, and it said, "Yo, this person died," and it said Glenn died, and I'm like, "Well, yeah, that's just yeah. ruined the experience." Oh, and then shit. it got to it, and then Abraham died, and I'm like. Well, shit, what? Like, what? I don't <laughs> even know what life is anymore. So then when he died, I was just like, this isn't the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> Abraham was my favorite. He is my spirit animal. Abraham is a goddamn god. I love his handlebar mustache. He, he's just <laughs> awesome. I want to be him when I'm older. And I want the like, handlebar mustache and the beefiness. Like, <laughs> like his, his arms don't fit in his shirt. That's where I want to be. He was just <laughs> so awesome. I didn't, I didn't want him to die. Like, he was... Ah... Uh, I literally yeah, I couldn't mean, take it. I had to stop you eating just, my burrito. <laughs> yeah, you just stood up and left. I was, I was frozen uh, in shock. I've got video reaction footage of us reacting to the episode live, so I'll put that in at some point during this podcast. But doing that. Oh. no! Fucking like Abraham! No! <laughs> Why? What? Shit! What the fuck? Die. It's not allowed. We can't take away two characters, man. <laughs> oh man, and I thought we were safe after Abraham died. I was like, oh, I am like, oh, I was frozen yeah. in shock. Abraham, no, not Abraham, my baby Abraham. And then I was like, well, don't worry. Well, now we know who died. You know, we're safe. The rest of the group's fine. Absolutely fine. But Negan's like, let's go for another. It's Bam! And smash. Did it? Like, I think. Glenn oh. was like the one that he was going to kill, but they mm. kind of, you know, like made you think that you were safe. Yeah. By knocking off, not the most main character, you know, by knocking him yeah. off. And I was like, ah, oh, we can relax now. It's not anyone like mage. It's, it's not like it's, no Glenn, one... it's not Rick. Yeah. It's not Daryl. And then finally, oh, bang! Boom, when you baby. Don't expect it, and we were just yeah. like, and that oh, is brilliant writing. Like, I always yeah. give the, the Walking Dead creators props. Like, the producers and the writers of that show just know what they're doing because they can kind of, like, make you shocked and sad. Abraham's dead. Oh, my God. And then the they can lure you into a yeah. false sense of security 
and then bam hit you with the mother load and I kind of think it's quite sad because all these memes and all these tributes are going out to Glenn on a line and yeah. I think Abraham deserves a bit more recognition like Glenn Abraham he's was a the lad coolest guy he was yeah, like I mean bomb. he was my fave <laughs> Like, Glenn has been in it since the first episode, so he deserves like a proper good memorial. But Abraham, he has—he's still Abraham been a very was significant the only character. One who stood like, up to Negan. He was he, yeah, yeah. <laughs> slouched down. He was like, "Come at me, boy!" And his last like, lines are just perfect. <laughs> suck sum up my balls. Abraham, Abraham is like, <laughs> uh, that is a legend dude, right there. The worst thing about Abraham's death is we are never going to see another guy who has. The amazing lingo that he has, like mm. the things that came out of Abraham's face, it was amazing. Like, suck oh. my balls was just the best way to go out. Um, my absolute favourite is still, when you were pouring the biscuit, <laughs> did you mean to make pancakes? <laughs> I was like, no one else no on one The else. Walking Dead could deliver those lines. The only other one <laughs> only who Abraham. Glenn, and now Glenn's gone as well. <laughs> yeah, no, no Glenn's gone as well, yeah. Oh, no I'm, I look quite happy now, but I seriously am not. We were like, in shock. It was yeah. Hot. Like we're recording this two days after, and I'm still quite depressed about it. To be honest, mm -hmm. like I have crippling depression right now. Yeah, it was, and the worst part of it all was that when Glenn had taken a few hits from Lucille, like we could just hear and see him mm -hmm. just like in absolute agony, just like coughing on his own blood. He was like, you could tell the pain he was in. And it got to the point where we like we didn't want him to die, but we were just like, just kill him, mm. you bastard! Like, yeah, it was like it was, oh, it was brutal. Yeah, like Abraham kind of went fairly quickly, you know, mm. but Negan dragged Glenn's death out. It was yeah. like, oh, it was not nice to see. No, not nice wasn't. at all. Oh. I mean, no death is nice to see on The Walking Dead because they do such a good job at making it gruesome. But like Glenn. Dude, just like put him down, put him out of his misery. And that, that begs the question, which death was more gruesome? Like, I think one of the most gruesome deaths was when, um, I forget his name, but when the guy basically got caught on the other side of a door and there were the, all the mm -hmm. walkers inside just tearing him yeah, apart. Yeah, they like, literally teared him apart. Yeah, yeah, I forget his name. He wasn't that significant, to be honest. <laughs> exactly. But we, that was right. pretty darn gruesome. But I think the two mm -hmm. deaths on the mm -hmm. season seven premiere was just, they were just horrific. But we should probably know this by now, like, they always bring you into a false sense of security and then they kill off the characters you love, like with Beth. Everyone thought Beth was safe, you know, it was all good, she had got out of there alive, yay, she's back with the group and then boom, Beth's dead and we're like, this is just awful. <laughs> like, they did it with Glenn, they've done it with multiple characters, so um, even in season 7 we're still learning that we should not be trusting the guys. At the Walking Dead, I don't know what to call him. Production team? Yeah, why not? We'll call sure, it production yeah. team. Uh, so I saw a post on Facebook this morning. It was a picture of the governor smiling. And it was, um, yeah, bet you miss me now. Yes, I do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, everyone thought the governor was the worst you can get. And then Negan comes in. And if you've read the comics, you already knew that Negan was like 10 times worse. Well, I haven't read the comics. I just heard people say, yeah, Negan's, Negan's a lot worse than the governor. I was like, no, come on. You're over-exaggerating. You can't get much worse than the governor. And no, you can. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, you can. Jesus, he, oh. Yeah, he's, oh. he's a work of art, he is. <laughs> Literally, the guy who plays Negan, he done a cracking job on the acting. Oh. Like, he must be getting so much hate right now. Like, <laughs> Have you seen his Twitter? Oh, it's just like, horrible. Oh, he is getting so much hate right now. Yep. <laughs> but talking about the acting, the whole cast Jesus, just it blew it wide open with the acting. Never like, seen massive such props to them. Good collective like, acting, especially Andrew exactly. Lincoln. Andrew yeah, Lincoln Andrew Lincoln bloody Emmy blew out the water. Yeah, cool. like, it's... absolutely amazing. Like, you, it seemed a, like life. It was just so well mm, done. As a collective, acting was phenomenal, but Andrew Lincoln was really the highlight there. Yeah. Like, especially when he had kind of had a nervous breakdown when he had oh, to, uh, God, or yeah. was almost about to chop Carl's arm off. Yeah. That was pure skill right there. Like, that breakdown. He must have had a breakdown before to learn how mm. it goes, because that was... <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely yeah. amazing. Phenomenal. Do, do you think it was Daryl's fault that Glenn died? Uh, I don't like to blame Daryl because I love Daryl, <laughs> but 
let's face it, if Daryl didn't get up and punch him, no one else would have died. Let's I, face it. I, I know feel like it was inevitable, though. I feel like Negan already made his mind that he was going to mm-hmm. pop off Glenn. I would say for the storyline, it was inevitable. Like Glenn's character had kind of gone as far as well. I could he could have gone further, but I think as good story goes, killing Glenn off now was a smart choice. If you go in for really good, really a uh, nice storyline. Uh, so I think. As the storyline goes, it was going to happen anyway. But, thinking realistically, I think Negan probably wouldn't have executed anyone else. Like, he just went for Glenn randomly, didn't he? Like, he yeah. didn't really do another eeny, meeny, miny, mo. He didn't look at someone in particular. He kind of just went, no, you do not do that. But, hey, let's go for another anyway. Just turn behind him, and the first person behind him happened yeah, to be Glenn, and he smacked him in the face. Mm. You know? So, I personally think, like... Ah, oh. <laughs> I don't like to say I blame Daryl, but Daryl, man, sometimes do you, you gotta, think like, it's sit the down. end of Daryl? Because let's face it, he is now he got taken by Negan and his men, so Daryl is now. Daryl's not allowed to die. I don't Rick know can die before Daryl dies. <laughs> I don't want anyone else to die, but people nah. are of course gonna die. But no, Daryl's not allowed to die. If Daryl dies, I I riot. <laughs> I just can't see how he gets out right. of it. Um. Good question. Good point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he is pretty that. damn fucked. <laughs> mm. But I'm really hoping... Like, it's Daryl. He's a badass. He'll probably, like, take them all down on his own. He won't, will he? No. Fuck. <laughs> I, I don't know how he's making it out. Unless mm. unless he borrows King Ezekiel's tiger. <laughs> I can't see a way yeah, out. Yeah, dude, gonna borrow your tiger, please. Thanks, man. Talking about King... Whatever it, King Ezekiel, is that how you pronounce it? King. I'll look up now, but King I'm pretty Ezekiel. sure it's King Ezekiel. King Ezekiel. Well, he looks like a badass, and he's got a bloody tiger. So where normal, that's going to? I think it's to... literally just in the little bit that they showed us of the height. Yeah, it's a shame, so. really. Yeah, I mean CGI costs a lot, so I suppose. King. <laughs> but... Ezekiel. It's E Z E K I E L. So it's Ezekiel. Ezekiel, yeah, Ezekiel, yeah. We know what we're talking about. <laughs> that tiger looks awesome, though. I know, right? Like, it looks so cool. I'm really interested to see where it plays out because these guys were in the comics, but because I've mm. never read the comics, I'm not quite sure where these guys are going to play in. And like, we've seen the riders with their spears already. They helped oh, Carol and for Morgan. For fuck's sake. What? I haven't seen another spoiler of you. I saw an Im- image from the comic that kind of shows Ezekiel's <laughs> fate. <laughs> That's alright, we're going to change it from the comic. Like, I think they're going to change it a lot from the comic, I mean, so you may not have spoiled it yet. like what I thought was going to happen, but... I don't know, I just... Oh, spoilers pissed I me have off. no idea where it's going to go, to be honest. Like, I, I just really hope that there's this massive no fight between mm-hmm. the hilltop and the kingdom and Rick's oh, gang awesome, working yeah. together against the saviors, and it's just a big, humongous, humongous battle. Just, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping the end of season seven, maybe, or end of season eight. eight season eight has been confirmed, by the way. Mm-hmm. We're going completely yeah. off topic here, but season eight has been confirmed, so the whole group doesn't die off within the season. We know that much. Oh, <laughs> my God, we thought they were all going to be killed, though. When, yeah. was each, yeah. when Rick was on top of the RV or something, hmm. and it was showing each of them getting smacked around the head with the bat, we were like, wait, so are they all dead so, and Rick's going to yeah. get back and they'll all be dead Do not have a group what? anymore? <laughs> But that was, was clever, though. Mind. Yeah, that was clever use of yeah. kind of imagery there, though, because we all thought, oh, a bit of a flashback, we're, we're, we're going to get back and they're all fucked, but mm. really clever. Like, yeah. people have said this is one of the most emotionally traumatic oh, God, I need <laughs> episodes of the whole seven seasons, oh. which I would agree, yeah, because it just went up and down it was like the yeah. world's craziest roller coaster of an episode mm-hmm. like it was you didn't know what to think constantly you didn't know whether to be angry sad happy that like some of your main characters are alive but fuck abraham then oh my god shock glenn it was absolutely mental do you reckon i could sue the people that made it because i didn't end up finishing my burrito because <laughs> it went cold because i was just too focused on watching it I'm not sure that's a thing that you I'll could probably them. do. No, I'll, t- I'll tell you what, though. Sue them for all the burritos yeah. in the world. <laughs> you know, I'm not a fan of Carl as a person. I'm not a fan of the just Carl character. Ian, <laughs> just, but just I must admit, Chandler. when when he you know had his arm out and was about to be chopped off, the fact that he just said to Rick, just just do it. Like I'm like, 
Oh yeah, lad. true lad. Respect like, there. Yeah, Carl has proven many, many times that he can like come up and do what he needs to do, like um, and killing his Rick the strength as well. Mother, he clearly yeah. didn't have the strength to do it, and Carl oh, was yeah. saying just do it, you know it. Like Rick, a strong leader as he is, he does have major weaknesses, and well, he, it's normally he Carl that saves him. To be he honest, does for Carl, mm -hmm. pretty much. So yeah. But, like, yeah. Carl's shown that multiple times. Like, um, again, spoilers, but... Well, you call yourself a Walking Dead fan if you don't already know this, but um, Carl killing Laurie yeah. in uh, Season 3, I think that was, wasn't it? Mm, uh, season yeah. 3 or 4, one of the two. Isn't I forget. It it's been a long time. Yeah. And uh, Carl's multiple times, like, uh, when he was first kind of in Season 2 exploring, he ended up, like, killing low walkers, and I think he ended Shane. Yeah, he did kill Shane. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, he ended up shooting Shane, didn't he? So, like, yeah. he's 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 a tough kid. Tougher than his dad, I think, sometimes. It's going to be interesting where they go with this baby storyline, because obviously Maggie has still got the baby. Whether it's still alive now, because it's probably, like, killed over because she's in so much stress. Like, that could be quite an interesting storyline, you know? It, like, pops out and the baby's dead. I um, don't have much hope for the baby, to be honest. Like, at this point, <laughs> we've already had one successful baby, which is Judith. Now, is there going to be now a second one? Or do we really think this is going to go all happy days? Oh, yay. Another baby has been born in the apocalypse. I don't think it's going to go that smooth. I kind of hope that the baby comes out all right. But I, like, oh, I, yeah. I can't help but... Well, I think that the baby's done, well, done what they thought happened to Laura. And the baby died inside and is, like, killing her. But yeah. Oh, damn. I don't like think they do that child. again. Well, no, it's not as such a zombie baby. It's just like mm -hmm. it's just killing her from the inside out. Yeah, yeah. Basically, and it, yeah. I, I can't. I, I think that might happen. But then again, I kind of want it to just be good and be. Yeah, okay it would be nice. Out. Yeah, it would be nice to come out okay. We'll be like, oh well, we haven't got Glenn anymore, but we've got something that's reminiscent of Glenn. Yeah, we've got Glenn's son who can yeah. maybe rise up or and be it? awesome. Or daughter. I think it's a son. Like, in the... In the, oh, I can't remember when in the flash thing. forward that they had right at the end, yeah, you know, where they were all sitting around the table. Was it was the it was a son. That was thing ever. <laughs> yeah, that was insult to injury. Because like, Negan was saying, oh, you thought you were all going to be okay, and it showed yeah. them all sat around eating all dinner. All sat around so eating happy, Sunday dinner. Like, Damn. Right, yeah, we had like, yeah, we had Abraham, sad. we had Glenn yeah. smiling to each other. Yeah, we're still yeah. alive. Glenn uh, with his child, and then Maggie we was there, here, yes. Like... All the others were there and happy. And... Ah, and even the priest mm. guy was there, and that means that, you know, oh, it, was, it was just a it sad was, moment. Yeah, it was not a good day that, that for Walking made Dead men fans, cry. to be honest. Like, that was, that was yeah, a sad yeah. Thing. <laughs> But we are going to have to wrap it up soonish. So those are our thoughts. I mean, there's so much to talk about in the first episode. And we yeah. kind of just like to spill our thoughts out. And uh, we haven't really gone in depth. But as the season goes on, I think it's going to get really interesting. Oh, and yeah. there's going to be so much more to talk about. We're going to be doing these episodes every single week. We're going to be talking about the episode that's recently been around about two days later. We'll try and do it after on Tuesday or Wednesday, but we're going to give you guys plenty of time to stew over what's happened and then you can listen to our stupid thoughts about it because, as I said, Talking Dead isn't enough. Yep. We're going to try and get some more people on so you're not just listening to our boring voices all the time. Yeah, we'll have a special guest every week. Yes, let's get yeah. a guest every week. Can you uh. be that cheesy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Sorry, we'll get some people on so it's a bit more interesting. Put your opinions and your comments about the Season 7 premiere in the comments down below. We'd love to hear your opinion. And let's have a talk about this. Let's all huddle together and cry about this because yeah. we really need it. We need to yeah. like join forces and all cry and also yeah, let, let, let us know if you are more sad about abraham dying because i know i was yeah because abraham glenn was or abraham i mean i can't it, stand it both of them going glenn, but you know but abraham. yeah everyone seems to be more distraught about glenn come on let's bring some love for abraham as well so so thank you very much for watching until next week's heart-wrenching episodes with more crying and death and yep. Yep. a bit more crying pretty much more death. we shall see you next time good bye a game and like a wrecking ball Oh! <laughs> What's happening over there? Uh, nothing! Nothing! Nothing's happening! Okay, that was. <laughs>
Yes! Oh, oh, uh oh. Oh, Henry. Oh. 